This is intermediate, I'm beginner. <laughs> Whether you're actually proficient in Excel or not, here's a formula that everyone needs to know. It's called if and here's how to use it. So let's say that we have this table with a list of names and survey responses and we're in charge of filling out the last column with a number. So we're going to type a zero for disagree and a one for agree. Well, instead of manually typing these numbers, which could take a lot of time, we could just use the if formula. Here's how. First type an equal sign, then type if, then type an open parentheses, and then for the first argument, we're going to type our logical test so that's going to be our condition and we'll say if this cell over here is equal to disagree then we're going to type a comma and then we're going to select the value we want to display in case the value is true so that means if this condition is true in this case we would want to display zero so I can select the zero type another comma so if this value is not equal disagree which means it would equal agree we can just output the other option which would be one so I'll select the one over here and then finally select all of your cell references and then press the shortcut F4 to absolute reference them so that they get locked in and then you can go ahead and close off this formula press answer and now anytime it says disagree a zero will appear here and where it says agree a one will appear looking to save more time in Excel comment Excel and I'll DM you my 26 need to know Excel shortcuts cheat sheet